testing strategy that we're publishing today. Our testing strategy must be adaptable to the conditions facing us, to the prevalence of the virus in our communities and in places we know are of higher risk. Using our testing capability now in the most effective way is also part of our planning for winter. The strategy we've published focuses on five key areas of testing. Whole population testing of anyone with symptoms through Test and Protect. Proactive case finding by testing contacts and testing in outbreaks. Protecting the vulnerable and preventing outbreaks in high risk settings by routine testing and testing for direct patient care to diagnose and treat and to support safe patient care as NHS services restart. Testing is also an important part of surveillance to understand the disease, track its prevalence, understand its transmission and monitor key sectors. So testing is a key tool that gives us vital information about the what, the who and the where of disease transmission. Given where we are now in the pandemic in Scotland, our clear priority is to use testing to actively hunt down the virus and to protect those most vulnerable to the greatest harm. Hunting down the virus means using testing to identify those most likely to be infected. At this stage in the pandemic, that includes contacts of confirmed positive cases. Protecting those most vulnerable means routine testing in high-risk settings, including our weekly testing of care home workers, to prevent outbreaks before they occur by detecting positive cases, including from those who may not be displaying symptoms. Our overall pandemic strategy is to suppress the virus, driving the number of cases to the lowest levels possible, and this requires a comprehensive set of public measures. These include real-time intelligence and information, anticipation, prevention, mitigation and effective response. No one intervention on its own will suffice. And testing is part of that overall response. Testing doesn't directly limit the opportunities of the virus to find bridges to other people in close contact. It doesn't reduce the risk of becoming infected by the virus by touching a contaminated surface. And it doesn't mitigate the risk of being infected from an infectious person. That's why, alongside testings, we constantly emphasise the importance of face coverings, of avoiding crowded places, of cleaning hands and surfaces, of physical distancing and of self-isolation when symptomatic. All of that remains absolutely key as part of all our public health measures, including testing. Thanks, Jason. Thank you, First Minister. This morning...